Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome back to Upper St. Clair High School. It is girls' basketball night, and it is December 10th, 2015. It is the opening of the section contest now. We had a uh, home opener on non-section meet last Tuesday night. Tonight, though, the home standing Panthers welcome to our gym, the Lady Max of Cannon McMillan. This is a section contest and is meaningful in the standings as now the battle begins for section four. Kevin McGahee is my name. It's Kyle Romano behind the camera. We're here to bring you tonight's contest. It'll start off with jump, with a center jump, Maddie Groninger, number 45, going off for the Panthers, and that is number one, Peyton Bayer, grabbing that tip. And it's in our, right now the hands of sophomore, Liv McClellan. The Panthers start two sophomores and three seniors. As for Cannon Mack, they're in here with a two and one record, same as the Panthers. Ali Steve up with a three, comes up short, rebounded by number 33, Becca Turney for the Big Macs. They're in the course in the blue and gold, going left to right in the first half here, and the Panthers in the home whites. And that will be a holding foul to get things organized here. It's on Maddie Groninger. She's gonna have a tough time tonight with Becca Turney, who's got a few inches on her, but we shall see how it goes. First uh, personal and first team foul for the Panthers. And number 25, that's Izzy Allen. Number four for Kanemak, Kiara King. Outside the dribble, and hands up that. Kids is why you play, hands up defense. Nicely done, nicely tipped away, and the Panthers bring it into the forecourt, going right to left in the whites. Maddie Groninger with it. It's a man-to-man -man defense put on by Cannon. Max so far to the sister Kate Groninger. Finds Maddie down the lane, up it goes and is blocked. That is gonna be tough, get around this Becca Turney. We shall see how things go. No score yet, minute gone, first quarter. Up the jump shot, goes short off the rim, no good. Rebounded by Taylor Weller and put back in and Cannon Mack draws first blood. Two nothing still way early in this contest. Panthers a two and one record already in the season. Same as Cannon Mack, Liv McClellan right down the lane and with a left hand and up and in. Liv McClellan breaks the ice for the Panthers. Her first bucket and we're all knotted up at two. Minute and a half gone now. First quarter. There's that pass down low but too high. Wow, uh, Ali Steve almost had it. Maddie Gronin was just gonna have to try to front Becca Turney tonight. Try to keep that ball away from her. We need Maddie in the game and not foul out. Turney outside the three-point arc, right where we'd like to have her. Still man-to-man. -man. Big Max with the ball. Kiara King now looking for space. Cheyenne Trest, number three. And that, I think, tells us the whole team arrangement for the Big Macs. Looking for an opening, not much action. There's the inlet again, and Maddie Groninger is going to have to watch out for that one because Becca Turney just put her on her hip, made the quick turn, and it was a relatively easy layup. 4-2, Big Macs. Oh, bad pass, but recovered nicely by Kate Groninger. Maddie at the free throw line. Down low to Kate. Oh, there's back to Maddie. Up for the layup attempt. She draws a foul and will go to the line, shooting two. That's on number three, Cheyenne Trest. Her first, first team foul. Maddie Groninger, shooting two. First one, not then, but net. Good form, good result, and Maddie Groninger's in the scorebook. Second one is up, also good. Back of the rim and down. Good form, good result again. We're all tied up at four. Cannon Mack with the ball, coming across the timeline, into the forecourt against the Panther man-to-man. -man. Underneath and batted away by Liv McClellan. It'll be Big Mac's ball. Under their own basket. Who's going to bring it in? Looks like number two, Cheyenne Trest. We'll be bringing the ball in. I'm sure looking for Becca Turney. Let's see what Maddie Groninger can do on her now. Cheyenne Trest did not take the shot. Little scoop shot. Oh my goodness, a little reach in foul. Kiara King with the layup. Ali Steve, the senior guard, commits her first, second team foul only. No sweat there. But it is Kiara King now at the line, shooting two. First one up, good. She's in the scorebook and she will get the second free throw. 
Up and back of the rim, no good. Who's got the rebound? That was Becca Turney again. The turn, with the rebound, the turnaround layup did not fall. Liv McClellan gathering the ball up on the far side, right in front of the Cannon Mac bench. Valley Steve, a long three pointer in front of the rim, no good. Turney with the rebound, and oh boy. Second foul, it looks like, by Maddie Groninger. Not such a good thing to have happen. That is her second. Maddie, really the only big player the Panthers have, and she will need to take a break. It'll be Hannah Shepard, who gives up another couple of inches, who will be tasked with keeping Becca Turney away from the ball in the bucket. 4.30 left, first quarter. Outside the three-point arc, Kiara King drives to the lane, does not put the shot up. From three, she does put that one up. Rim no good, hit the struck. I don't know why they didn't call that, it hit the stripe. That should have been out of bounds. The refs did not see it, and Cannon Mack still has the ball. And that three should not have counted, but it is in the books. And Canada Mack with an 8-4 lead halfway through quarter number one here in this section four contest, Liv McClellan. <laughs> Off Cheyenne Trest hands, out of bounds, ball belongs to the Panthers. It'll be Liv McClellan on the inbound. She finds Hannah Shepard, man to man by Canada Mack. Liv McClellan right again down the lane again and for the layup. Nicely done, the old give and go and Liv McClellan's got her second bucket. 8-6 now, Panthers back within two. That's the old foot play in defense by Allie Steve. Use all the body parts you can, kids. You got to get inside and to block those passing lanes. Use your feet, hands, anything that counts. Now subbing is Samantha Smith. She's a sophomore. She subs in for Liv McClellan. And she, oh, almost tossed away by Turney, but the, uh, the Kanemak gathers it back up. Cheyenne Tress now. Pass underneath, double team to Turney now, and up for the layup and a grab by, who's that gonna be on? How she got through that double team, I don't know, but she did. Peyton Bayer tagged with that upper St. Clair foul. Her first four team fouls now. And the free throw is good for a three point play the old fashioned way. Five points for Becca Turney, 11 6, Big Max lead. Kate Groninger up with a layup and she was fouled. We'll get two shots. Let's see who that one was on. They won't tell me who it was on, but Kate Groninger <laughs> makes the first free throw. She'll get the second. That foul was on Cheyenne Tress. That's her second, second team foul. Kate Groninger, one more at the line. Up and also good. A good free throw shooting so far for the Panthers. 4-4 from the line. 11-8, Panthers trail by three. Nice little runner underneath. Izzy Allen got the baseline and converted the layup. 13 8 5 point Cannon Mac lead. Hannah Shepard up beyond the three point arc. Oh, a lazy pass stolen away. And the successful layup by Cheyenne Trest. Timeout called by Coach Pete Serio of Upper St. Clair. Gives us a quick summary here with just under three minutes to go, first quarter. So far, Liv McClellan, number 13, the sophomore, leading all St. Clair scores with four points on two drives to the bucket. Kate Groninger, sophomore, number 44, she's two of two from the line for two points, as is older sister Maddie, two of two from the line, and also two personal fouls from Maddie Groninger trying to guard Becca Turney 
Also a personal foul for Ali Steve and one for Peyton Bayer. That's only four, no real threat there yet. For the Cannon Mac, the Lady Big Macs, five points now for Cheyenne Trest, a three and a two. Becca Turney, number 33, the center has two twos and a one for five. A two-pointer by number two, Taylor Waller, and two by Izzy Allen. 15-8, seven-point Cannon McMillan lead. Samantha Smith into the forecourt. Peyton Bayer looking for help. Allie Steve on the far side. Tough man-to-man -man defense there outside behind the arc. Peyton Bayer underneath. Oh, the layup just off by Hannah Shepard, or by uh, Kate Runninger, rather. Sorry about that. Rebound goes back to Cannon Mack, and it's Turney with a little turnaround. No good. Gets her own rebound. Up it goes, also no good, and it's Kate Groninger with a rebound. And that seems to be what you have to do, is keep turning away from that bucket. Don't let her have an open shot. Ali Steve, 4-3. Off the backboard, no good. Underneath the tourney, little turnaround. Layup, no good. Again, it's good defense being played by Peyton, or by Hannah Shepard right now. Ali Steve to Sam Smith on the far side. Still a seven point Cannon Mack lead. Peyton Bayer here, Hannah Shepard there. Good head fake and blocked and stolen by Becca Turney. Underneath. Oh, nice block by Kate Groninger on Easy Allen. And the Panthers have it coming back the other way. Needing a score here. And a Shepard looking for help. Oh, got around Turney, but still off the rim. No good by Kate Groninger. Running the other way. Here's a fast break and a little uh, the pull-up jumper. No good. Ali Steve now. Just a minute left first quarter. Sam Smith for three. Oh, way down in and just out. My goodness, rebounded by Izzy Allen. Thought that one, that ball was a goner, and it just popped out 40 seconds first quarter batted out of bounds by Ali Steve substitution Beck attorney goes out number 24 comes in for Cannon Mac Shit. that's Erica Hote to play the final 39 seconds of the first quarter Cheyenne Trest on the inbounds under the uh, Canamac bucket. Out beyond the three-point arc. Two-pointer goes up. Back of the rim. No good. I missed the substitution. Double zero is on for the Panthers. That's Sarah Price, a 6'1 freshman, getting some time here. Thirty seconds to go now, Panthers. See if we can get one good one before the end of the quarter. 15-8 still the score. Floor foul, grabbing foul. Let's see who that was on. That was on Kira King, her first, only the third team foul. Panthers maintain possession. Liv McClellan, oh, lazy pass on the inbound, stolen away. And up for the layup is Cheyenne Trest. Second time the Panthers have done that. Got to watch out for Cheyenne Trest coming in. 17-8, the lead is nine now. Sarah Price way out front, almost stolen away. She gathers that back in. Panthers need one, oh, it's tipped away by Kara King and off Liv McClellan's hands so with the four seconds left. Canada McMillan might get one more shot at a bucket here, leading by nine, 17, eight. Into the forecourt against the defense. They do get the one more, Cheyenne Trest. And a pretty good quarter for Cannon McMatt. Fa Panthers found it a little tough to score in that quarter with eight points. Uh, not much change. To that. They gave that scoring summary a while ago. Liv McClellan leading the Panthers scores. Number 13, the sophomore. She's got two buckets for four points in that first quarter. Kate Groninger, sophomore number 44, two of two from the line for her two points. And Maddie, older sister number 44, uh, 45, rather, she is two of two from the line 
for two points. Two personal fouls for Maddie Groninger trying to guard Becca Turney. Ali Steve, number three, the guard. She's got one, as does Peyton Bayer. So four team fouls for the Panthers. For the Lady Max, Cheyenne Tress, number three, leading the way with nine points on three two-pointers and a three. Five points by the center, Becca Turney. Two twos, and she made that three-point play. She's one of one from the line. A two-pointer by Izzy Allen, two for Taylor Waller, and one of two from the line for Kiara King. That all adds up to 19. But so far, it's Cheyenne Tress leading the way with a couple of steals and buckets. And it, it'll be Cannon Mac Ball still going left to right here in this second quarter. Clock didn't get off to a smooth start. We'll just do this all over again, less four seconds. And it'll be Taylor Waller on the inbound. Cheyenne Tress with it. Turney way out front. That's a good thing. Although she just draw two players with her. And a long three, a rim no good. Who's got it? Turney, uh, Turney saves it. And, and uh, Cheyenne Trest has it again. Nice action by the big lady. And the cut underneath. Oh, layup off the rim. No good. Nice little play down the lane. But it did not convert for Cannon Mac. 19-8 still, 11 point, big Mac lead. Panthers need some scoring. Kate Groninger with it, gets her own rebound, blocked twice, and who comes away with it? Taylor Waller does. Four, Cannon Mac hustling into the forecourt. That's Cheyenne Trest. She goes up for a two, no good. It's Sam Smith with the set with the St. Clair rebound. Liv McClellan with it. Into the forecourt against the man-to-man. -man. Ali Steve. Heading toward the lane, nothing there. Sam Smith, Kate Groninger from the baseline, off the rim to twice, no good. Rebounded by Peyton Bayer, Ali Steve with a nice layup. Good look by Peyton Bayer and Ali Steve in the scorebook with her first two. Oh, no, pretty decent block by Liv McClellan, but she caught some arm on the way up. It's Liv's first, five team fouls. Taylor Waller at the line, shooting two. First one, nothing but net. She's all set for the second one. Also good. Not even a molecule or rim to go on that one. And the lead is now 11, largest of the, of the game so far, 21-10. Panthers having a tough time figuring out that Canamec man-to-man. Ali Stee from the baseline. I was looking the other way. Let's see what happened here. Taylor Waller for Canamec picks up her first foul. Four team fouls now for the Lady Max. A non-shooting foul. Peyton Bayer with it, untrapped underneath. Sam Smith, there we finally go. Sam Smith. The Panthers got their first three of about the first, they missed the first five or six. But they're down now, there's Turney with a little turnaround, it goes in and oh my. Panthers gotta keep her away from the bucket. Liv McClellan picks up that one. That's her second. Six team fouls. So the next one will put Cannon Mack on the line with a bonus. Free throw is good. Substitution for Cannon Mack. Turney goes out. And number 24, Erica Hout comes in. Panthers now. Two minutes gone. Second quarter. Ali Steve for three. Rim no good. Who's got the rebound? Yeah. 
Whoa, it's Liv McClellan again. Oh, my. That is three for the sophomore Liv McClellan. She's going to have to come to the bench. Kate Groninger checks in, number 44. And it is one and one now. Bonus free throw for the rest of the half for Cannon Mack. Kiara King steps up. She's got a one and one. First one good. She's two of three from the line. Second one up, also good. 26-13 now, 13 point lead, largest of the game for Cannon Mack. Kate Groninger out high. Hannah Shepard, nice turnaround off the glass and down. Oh, very nice. Hannah Shepard, her first two. Cheyenne Trest with the ball outside the three-point arc. Allie Steve with the blocking foul, her second. And it'll be one and one free throws for Cannon Mack, checking back in. Oh, for the first time, rather, number 12, Maddie Powers for Cannon Mac, as well as Becca Turney, already in the book with eight points tonight. Off the rim, no good. Peyton Bayer with the rebound. Long three-pointer, down it goes, Sam Smith. Six now for Sam. 26-18. Panthers back in the single digit range, 28 point deficit. Turney outside the three point arc. Keep her out there, Hannah. Now somebody, oh boy, well, now they're starting to call it tight. That is on Sam Smith, her first. But now it's nine team fouls for the Panthers. And for the next four minutes and 50 seconds, it's double bonus shooting time for Cannon Mack. Kira King misses the free throw. Panthers with a rebound with 4.45 left. First half. Ali Steve to Kate Groninger. Sam Smith again. Will she take it? She does hoist it up. Oh, off the rim, no good. And it is Becca Turney with a rebound. Good defense, Hannah Shepard snatching the ball right out of the hands of Cheyenne Tress without the foul. And it is Panthers ball on the held ball possession arrow. Sam Smith bringing it up into the forecourt. Kate Groninger out high. Allie Steve now looking for the penetration. Peyton Bear almost loses it out of bounds, gathers that one back up. Hannah Shepard. Panthers burning up some time, looking for a penetration attempt down there, down low. Sam Smith into the lane, off the glass, rim no good, and it's Becca Turney with the Cannon Mack rebound. Three and a half to go, first half. Kiara King with the ball, Cannon Mack also taking their time now. Certainly no urgency to bring in this second half to a close. On the penetration drive, that was Cheyenne Tress. She'll go to the line, shooting two. And Kate Groninger picks up her first. We're now in double bonus territory the whole way through. But it'll be two shots for Cheyenne Trest. First one up. It is good. Good free throw shooting from both teams tonight. Eight of 12 so far for Cannon Mack. Panthers four of four. Make it 9 of 13. 
Yep. It's 9 of 12. Excuse me, my miscount. 18 8. The Canamac lead is 10, and once again, Cheyenne Tress snatches away a pass. She is quick with quick hands. 13 points for Cheyenne Trest. And Coach Pete Sirio taking a timeout. The Panthers had this thing down to eight just a minute ago, and the lead is back up to 12 at 30 to 18. And I'm sure he's not happy with the passing right now that really uh, it's three of those that Cheyenne Trest has snatched and driven the entire length of the court. So far for the Panthers, the scoring looks like this. Samantha Smith with those two threes jumped into the team lead with six points. Liv McClellan on the bench with three fouls now, hanging in there with four. Two points each for number three, senior Ali Steve. Hannah Shepard, number 34, she's got two. Kate Groninger still with two of two from the line of the first quarter, as is senior, uh, yeah, senior sister Maddie, who has not played since that first quarter. And I'm sure Coach Sewer is trying to keep her in the game and not get her fouled out. Just under three minutes left now. Second quarter. Panthers with the ball. Nice and easy into the forecourt. Hannah Shepard on the far side. It's a good thing if Hannah can just drag Turney out with her. Three goes up in the rebound to Allie Steve. She takes it up and she will go to the line shooting two. That foul I think is on number 25, Izzy Allen. We'll find out in just a second here. It is 25, Izzy Allen with her first. Still only five team fouls. For Kanemek, Allie Steve shooting two. First one up and good. Five of five is a team now for the Panthers. One more to come for Ali Steve. Also good. Two and a half to go, first half. Panthers need some defense right now to get this ball back. There's underneath to Becca Turney for the layup. 10 points now for Becca. 32-20, the Cannon Mac lead. And a Shepard for three all along off, oh, off the hands of Cheyenne Trest. I think the Cannon Mac folks thought it was off of, but that Ali Steve had poked it out of bounds, but it belongs to the Panthers under their own bucket. Sam Smith looking for an inbound, yeah. She took too long, it's a five second violation and now the ball to down that turnover gives the ball over to Cannon Mac. Just flat out good defense put on by the Big Macs. Panthers not finding the open spot. Two minutes now to go, first half, 32-20, 12 point Cannon Mac lead. Giant Tress pulls it out. Toward the midcourt line. Ready for the drive. She's with the left hand up off the rim. No good, Ali Steve. So that seems to be play number two. Play number one is to get low to Becca Turney. Play number one is spread it out and let Cheyenne Trest drive with the left hand of the bucket. Didn't work that time. Ali Steve now with a minute and a half to go in this first half. Peyton Bayer. Sam Smith now. And a grab and foul called on number two, Taylor Waller. On the Sam Smith drive. Still only 16 fouls, no shooting for the Panthers. Maddie Groninger checks back in now to guard Becca Turney. And let's see, I'm sure Coach Seager does not want her to pick up that third foul right before halftime. Sam Smith looking for help on the inbound again. She finds Kate Groninger up for the layup, off the rim, no good, off Kate. Whoa, well off Lindsay Beach's hands, number five, checked in for Cannon Mac, left Lindsay Beach, punches it out of bounds, Panther ball, Maddie Groninger, Sam Smith takes it out beyond the three-point arc, Allie Steve along three, rim no good, who's got it? Kate Groninger comes on, comes down with it, yeah, yeah. 
She picked it up, took an extra half step. That's a traveling violation. Ball over to Cannon Mack. Diane Trest with 50 seconds to go in the half now. Canamex scored one just instantaneously before the end of the first quarter. Let's see what happens here. Whether they burn up the next 40 seconds. Seems to be what's going on out there near the half court line. And a dragged foot by Izzy Allen. Panthers now with the last attempt here in the end of the first half. 32-20, Lady Max, 20 seconds to go. Peyton Bayer with it. Maddie Groninger, Sam Smith to Peyton Bayer. Sam Smith, seven seconds, six. For Ali Steve, the long three-pointer partially blocked. Canamac with it, and that is how the first half will end with the Panthers currently on the short end of a 32-20 score. We will take a quick break and be right back for the second half. Stick with us, everybody. You're watching the Upper St. Clair Sports Network. Welcome back, everybody, after that eight-minute break for us. Only a couple of milliseconds for you. It's still Kevin McGahee here. Doing the voiceover, and it is Kyle Romano behind the camera. It, and we are here still on December 10th, Thursday, as the Cannon Mac Lady Macs have come to town. They hold a 32 20 halftime lead. And as for scoring for the Panthers, Sam Smith took over the scoring lead in that second quarter with two three pointers. She's got six points. Liv McClellan, who spent the last part of the quarter on the bench with three personal fouls, has two buckets for four points. Allie Steve got uncorked in the second quarter. She's got a bucket and two free throws for four. Two points each for Hannah Shepard, number 34, the senior. Kate Groninger and Maddie Groninger, the sisters, have two of two, uh, made two of two free throws to each garner two points that first quarter. As for personal fouls, there is a little bit of trouble there. Liv McClellan, the sophomore guard, she's got three, and you only get five in this league. Maddie Groninger. She's got two trying to cover the uh, Cannon Max center tourney. And there's a bunch of them spread out. Uh, Ali Steve also has two. No real threat there. But what happened is the Panthers put the uh, Lady Max at the line pretty early in that second quarter with uh, five minutes to go. They were already in bonus free throw territory for the Lady Max. Leading the way is Cheyenne Tress, the guard, number three with four two-pointers, a three and two of two from the line. Becca Turney, number 33, the center. She's got four buckets and two of two from the line. That's 10 points. Four points for number two, Taylor Waller. A bucket and two of two from the line. Three of six from the line for Kiara King, number four, and a two-pointer for Izzy Allen. That all adds up to 32. No serious foul trouble for Cannon Mack. Number two, Taylor Waller. Number three, Cheyenne Trest. Each have two, but they they did not put the Panthers in bonus free throw territory in that first half, and it will be the Lady Max now playing right to left in this second half in the blue. With the first possession of the second half, and here we go. Panthers need to find a way to score and break into this here deficit, but meanwhile, Canamac with the ball. Down low to Turney for the turnaround layup. Did not, oh, but she snatched the ball right away from Kate Groninger and put that back up for an easy layup. Liv McClellan back in with those three personal fouls. She'll be the ball handler. Hannah Shepard, 4-3. Uh, up, missed the rim off the backboard, no good. And real quickly down, Becca Turney misses the layup. And it looks like a grabbing foul by, I think that's Kiara King, number four, yes indeed. That's her second, first team foul of the second half. And Hannah Shepard of the Panthers brings the ball forward across the timeline. Liv McClellan to the bucket, comes up a little short, turning with a rebound, Canamac with it. It was a good thought by Liv McClellan, the layup just came up a bit short. Down the lane. 
from the far side. Shot up off the rim, no good. Rebound goes to Upper St. Clair, but it is a held ball. Possession arrow should be the Panthers' way. It is. And it will be Liv McClellan. And Hannah Shepard bringing it up the court. Hannah Shepard with it outside the three-point arc. Allie Steve now. Kate Groninger, who's got Beck attorney duty this quarter as Maddie starts this half on the bench. Peyton Bayer with it now. Back to Hannah Shepard. Draws Turney out on her. She comes out toward the three-point arc. Probably didn't need to, but she does anyway. Kate Groninger down the lane. A little too hard. Up it goes in. Oh, nice rebound and put back by Peyton Bayer. Her first two of the night. And it's the Panthers' first two of the second half. From about 17 feet, no good. Kate Groninger lost it, but it is gathered up by Liv McClellan. Hustling it into the forecourt this time. Ali Steve, 4-3. Front of the rim, no good. Panthers were on target the other night against Chartiers Valley. Not so much tonight. Pull-up jumper by Cheyenne Trest. Bounces off the rim and out of bounds, but it seemed... Oh my goodness, yeah, the referee should have a discussion. It should be St. Clair ball. Yes, the correct call was made. Right, right, right. The back official did not have a good look at it. That down official on the left, that lady did, made the right call. Panthers have it now. Two and a half minutes gone. Third quarter. Hannah Shepard to Liv McClellan on the near side. The Panthers still having to fight against this man-to-man -man defense that comes way out. Kate Groninger to the hoop, and she will be grabbed. Let's see who got the habeas grabbis this time. It is, it is on Becca Turney, her first. Second team foul. And Hannah Shepard to the line for her first, first free throws of the night. First one up, back of the rim. Oh, drops through. Got the home coat bounce on that one. We'll take that one just fine. She gets the second, 34-23. Panthers trail by 11. And still 11. Beck attorney with a rebound. Cannon Mack now bringing it leisurely across the 10-second line into the forecourt. Beck attorney down low. She just backs Hannah Shepard down. Hannah's got to stand her ground and keep her out of there. Same play again, double teamed. Off the rim, no good. That's one another way to beat her, but she got her own rebound. Up it goes, no good, and held ball. Possession arrow is now, it's, yes, Cannon Maxway, they got the ball. Three attempts, no buckets, and Sam Smith, number 22, set to check in. She got those two three balls. In the second quarter, let's see if she can get uncorked here in the third quarter. Cheyenne Trest with it. To the far side, Izzy Allen now underneath off the rim. Oh, it goes in, that's kind of a miracle. She popped that thing up having no idea where it was going. Four points for Izzy. Long three by Ali Steve. And down it goes. Seven points for Ali. 36 26. Panthers trail by 10. Just halfway through the third quarter now. A little jumper and up it goes and in. Cheyenne Trest. 15 points for Cheyenne Trest. Sam Smith. Liv McClellan now with the left hand to the hoop up. It goes and in. Not, wow. Liv McClellan blowing by everybody. For her first bucket of the second half, six points total on the night for Liv. 38-28. Panthers keeping it close. Cheyenne Trest into the double team. Oh, my goodness. 
What a ticky tack little four court foul, but what do I know? I'm sitting way the heck back here. That one's on Kate Groninger. First team foul, but Kate's second personal foul. And it's still Canamac ball. Cheyenne Trest. Kiara King. Over to Izzy Allen outside the three point arc. Turney on the bench right now, but it looks like Canamax is going to burn some time while she's sitting on the bench. <laughs> underneath the number 32, Callie Laskowski. She got it underneath. She drew the foul from. Oh, my. Not so good. Liv McClellan gets her fourth. Callie Laskowski shooting two. First one is up off the rim. No good. Sarah Price, double zero, checks in for Liv McClellan. And it's one more free throw for Callie Laskowski. Short, rebounded, oh, but right back to Laskowski. And for three, off the rim, no good. Sam Smith got a hand on it. Well, she stepped out of bounds, but she, but she was bumped there. Bump not called, the out of bounds was, and the ball belongs to the Lady Max, under their own bucket. bucket. Taylor Waller taking the ball out. Turney still on the bench, 38-28. 10-point Lady Mac lead. Just under three minutes left, third quarter. Cheyenne Trest trying to get through. Taylor Waller does, but right into the serp. A oh, travel call, because she, Taylor Waller put up a pretty nice little scoop shot over Sarah Price. Panthers with another chance now, 2.40 to go. Sam Smith with it. Allie Steve down to Sarah Price, but knocked out of bounds by Cheyenne Trest. Sam Smith underneath her own bucket. Out to Sarah Price. Sarah Price not used to handing the ball that far out of bounds. She may have dragged a foot. Nobody saw it or called it. And a quick 30-second timeout called by Upper St. Clair coach Pete Sirio. Looks like Maddie Groninger is going to check back in, playing with only two fouls. Liv McClellan now in the biggest trouble. She's got four and is spending some time on the bench right now. This quarter, Ali Steve has a three. Peyton Bayer, two. Liv McClellan, two. And Hannah Shepard, one of two from the line for eight points this quarter. Only six so far for Cannon Mack. Cheyenne Trest with a two. Izzy Allen, number 25, and Becca Turney. A center number 20, or 33, she's got one, and she checks back in. So it will be Maddie Groninger probably trying to keep Becca Turney at bay here and not committing more fouls. 2.30 to go, third quarter. Sam Smith drives the lane. Pops out to Ali. Steve did not take the three. Addy Groninger to Ali. Steve with a layup blocked. Gathered in by Cheyenne Tress. Down the lane she goes and out of bounds it goes. Apparently off a of St. Clair hand. Oh my, I was looking in the direction. Ali. Steve. Down on the floor in a little bit of distress. We will take a quick break and we'll be right back. Stay with us, everybody. We are back after that quick injury timeout. Ball belongs to the Lady Max. With two minutes left, third quarter here, 38-28. Cannon Mack leads, down low to Turney. Double team makes the turnaround and she walks, yep. Yeah. She has to fight against that double team. That's the right move by the Panthers. Try to block off her access to the bucket. She only has that little turnaround with her left hand. 
Peyton Bayer now against the Cannon Mac man to man. Sam Smith now. Panthers spreading it out. Mira Fontana had checked in. I'm sorry, I missed that substitution. Number 11. Mira's a senior guard. Long throw, oh my goodness. A long three-pointer by Hannah Shepard. Goes down, my goodness, six points for Hannah. 38-31, Panthers back within seven. On a shot we all groaned at first and then gaped in awe as it went through. Well done, Hannah. Runner through the lane, no good. Another held ball, held ball. Possession arrow should go Panthers' way. Indeed, Panthers aggressive on those rebounds. Well done. Now, can the Upper St. Clair Lady Panthers cut this to five? Kate Croninger out high to Hannah Shepard. Fakes the shot, draws Turney way out from the lane. Sam Smith with it against this aggressive man-to-man. -man. 28 seconds now, third quarter. 38-31 Panthers, one more shot. See if the Panthers can cut this to five just before this quarter goes. 18 seconds now. 15, Hannah Shepard does not shoot. That'd be tough to do. Mira Fontana for three, a little too strong, but Peyton Bayer with it, six seconds. Need something quick, Hannah Shepard blocked. And that quarter expires. They're doing a little flurry of activity by the Panthers. And they gain back a few. It's a seven point deficit now. Only a six point quarter for the Lady Max to bring that to 38. Panthers with an 11 point quarter to close that gap to seven. Scoring really spread out for the Panthers. Nobody in double figures yet. Ali Steve, who went to the bench with what may be an ankle injury, not too sure right now. She's got seven, six each for Liv McClelland. With, on the bench now with four personal fouls. Some Sam Smith has two three-pointers for six. Six points for Hannah Shepard. Two each for Peyton Bayer, number one, the senior. Kate and Maddie Groninger still have those two holdovers from the first quarter. That is 31 for the Panthers. Four, Cannon Mack, a good defensive quarter by the Panthers. Only six points allowed. Cheyenne Tress still leading the way with 15. Number 33, Becca Turney, 12, but the Panthers seem to have figured her out with a double team down low, and sort of preventing that left hand turnaround that is money for her. And it'll be Cannon Mac Ball now so for the fourth quarter. Can the Panthers put the clamping defense on and score a few to boot? Underneath the Turney, there's the turnaround to the left, it comes up short. Good defense by Hannah Shepard. Doing just what she needs to do, keeping her away from that bucket with her body. That you can do, even if you do have to give away four or five inches of height. Sam Smith. Panthers now looking for a good shot. Kanemek has kept that man-to-man -man on all night long. Hannah Shepard picked up a dribble without a plan. Mira Fontana up, oh and in! Mira Fontana with a nice little runner, her first two. And the Panthers are within five, 38-33. Well, not much of a foul again, but Peyton Bayer does get called for it. It will be a two-shot foul. Peyton Bayer second, third team foul. Third team foul, yes, third team foul this half. It rolls way down in and out for Taylor Waller. She'll get the second. 
One minute gone, fourth quarter. Second one is up and good, and it's waved off. Somebody in the lane too early. So that's a missed free throw and a missed opportunity for Cannon. Mack now, can the Panthers inch this deficit back to three? 38-33 the score. Kate Groninger with it, up she goes, she gets fouled. Now we're getting somewhere. That foul by number 24, Erica Hout. It'll be her first, third Cannon Mack team foul and Kate Groninger at the line shooting two. First one off the rim, no good. Kate will get the second. It is up and good. Kate, three or four from the line tonight for three points. Now, can the Panther get that defense working again? Turney is on the bench. Cheyenne Trest burning up clock, looking for some sort of an opening. Taylor Waller to the hoop. Kiara King pulls up, back to Waller out high. In the lane, up with a layup, no good. Rebounded by Kate Groninger, and the Panthers with another chance to bring it a little closer. 38-34. Sam Smith on the far side. Six minutes left in the contest. Timeout called with a little trap action in the backcourt. Well, back part of the forecourt. Timeout called by Coach Sirio. Three points scored this quarter. Mira Fontana drained a nice baseline 10-footer. And Kate Groninger, one of two from the line. And the Panthers have crept back from what I think was a maximum 12-point deficit, maybe 13. To trail by four, 38-34 in this opening section four contest of the 2015-2016 season. We will, of course, see these Lady Macs again at their place a little later on in the season. But it's a pretty good challenge to open up this part of the pre-Christmas schedule. And let's see what Coach Sirio has lined up to get us two more points. Bring this within two. Liv McClellan back on with four personal fouls. Sam Smith, there's Liv again. She's a good ball handler. That's why she's on the court. To the hoop, up it goes, off the rim and in. Now Liv McClellan taking it to the bucket with that left hand. The Panthers are back within two. Kanemek gets it right back as Cheyenne Trest has a bit of a free ride to the bucket. 40-36. Can the Panthers do it again? Liv McClellan. Mira Fontana in the lane. Up it goes. Off uh, to the right. No good. Cheyenne Tress with it. Down low. Off of St. Clair hand. Amira off Mira Fontana's hands and out of bounds. It'll still be Kanemek ball. Two and a half minutes gone. Fourth quarter. And checking back in. We're glad to see that is Allie Steve. Hope she's all right, maybe just a twinge of an ankle. But she is back in, Mira Fontana with serviceable minutes. And a foul away from the ball on Izzy Allen for Cannon Mack, her second, fourth team foul with five and a half to go. 40, 36, Cannon Mack Panthers with the ball. Liv McClendon with the drive, Peyton Bayer off the rim, no good. Sam Smith, the offensive rebound. Let's try it again, shall we? Liv McClellan again. Hannah Shepard on the lane, knocked out of bounds. Heard a slap, thought that might have been our, must have been ball. Liv McClellan out to Sam Smith. Another grabbing call, the grabbing foul called. 
Taylor Waller, her third, now five team fouls for Cannon Mack. Turney still on the bench. They're probably saving her for the final three or so minutes here. Sam Smith looking for the inbound to Liv McClellan. Kate Groninger. Offensive foul called, my goodness, you don't see that called very often in girls high school, but there it is. And if that is on, it is, oh brother, that's on Liv McClellan. And that will be all for Liv. That's her fifth and that's all you get in this league. And with 4.53 to go, Coach Sirio has a choice to make. And it'll be Hannah Shepard coming in to finish off the contest for the Panthers. Live with a pretty productive night, six points, eight points rather, four buckets, and the five personal fouls. Panthers trail by four. Cannon Mack with the ball, just over five minutes left in this home opener for section four for 2015-16. Beck attorney way out high. Timeout called. Timeout called, Cannon Mack. The coach is unhappy with something. I'm sitting 15 rows back in the grandstands. I'll never find out what it is, but meanwhile, it's a chance for the, the Upper St. Clair Panthers to get a little bit of rest and Coach Sirio to put together a plan here. Five points scored by the Panthers this quarter. Only two by Cannon Mack. It has been a scoring drought for the Lady Max. Only eight points this half. And that sort of explains how the Panthers cut a 12 point deficit at halftime. Down to four here, it's still 40-36. Cannon Mack with the ball and chewing up a bunch of time. Let's see if the Panthers can do battle here, get this ball back. Cheyenne Trest, they gotta make sure she can't drive to the hoop. Well, sort of just like that, but it does not go. Who's got the rebound? Out it comes to Allie Steve. Still got that, oh, she pumps for three. Rim no good, oh, uh, two St. Clair teammates had it. Neither one came down with it. And it's Turney for the turnaround and the Hannah Shepard foul. Well, Becca Turney got freed up for that little turnaround left hand layup. That is her only move. Hannah Shepard with the foul. That's her first, but it's five team fouls and it'll be one shot for Becca Turney. And it is way short, air ball, well, a net ball. 14 points for Becca Turney. St. Clair trails by six now, 42-36. Sam Smith to the forecourt, to the hoop, to Ali Steve on the outside the three-point arc. Kate Groninger halfway through for the fourth quarter now, another holding foul, they're being called close, well, I guess that's a good thing. We don't want him taking advantage. Izzy Allen with that call, and that's six team fouls now. The Panthers, next of the next one, Panthers will start to shoot the bonus free throws. Allie Steve now with the ball outside the three-point arc. Kate Groninger. Pulls up, does not shoot. Need to get Sam Smith uncorked here. She had those two threes in the first half. Kate Groninger. Well, that could have easily been a body foul. They chose not to call that. Turney really walloped her with a belly bump. 3.33 left. Cannon Mack chewing up time. 
Spreading out the offense. Everybody's lined up at the free throw line. Panthers double teaming the ball now. Dribbled off a foot and out of bounds, yeah. Off Cheyenne Tress foot. Nobody pushed her. She tried to sell that one. That one did not work. Panthers again with a try here. It's six point deficit. 3.09 left. Sam Smith now with the ball. Ali Steve with it. Long three, four. Sam Smith just wide of the rim. Rebounded by the Lady Max again. Panthers can't seem to get close on this one. Had some halfway decent shots. They've not fallen. The deficit remains at six. Whatever this weird play is at the free throw line is still set up. Turney way out front. That is the four corners. That's what they're waiting for. They're waiting for us to foul. Sam Smith does. That's Sam's second. Six team fouls. Panthers, that was their one to give. Next one sends Kanemak to the line. Kiara King with it. Out front against the Ali Steve defense. Turney has it. Trying to get Kanemak to make a mistake, but with 2.15 to go. Ah, the play worked. Kiara King got herself free down on the right side. 44-36, Hannah Shepard, rim no good. Kate Groninger with it. Stolen away by Taylor Waller now with just under two to go. Kanemak with it again, the Panthers down by eight. 44-36. One forty to go. Cheyenne Trest with it, and there's the Peyton Bayer. Foul, it'll put Cheyenne Trest at the line, shooting one and one, where she is already two for two from the line tonight. Peyton's third, seven team fouls. Cheyenne Trest for one and one. First one good. 18 points for Cheyenne Trest. Second one up, also good. 19 for Cheyenne, 138 to go. Panthers now trail by 10, they had it down to four. It's edged back out to 10, minute and a half left. Peyton Bayer off her hands and out of bounds, right back to Cannon Mack. Timeout called, Coach Serio, one more. See if he can set up a genius 10 point play here before the end of the contest. It's hard not having Liv McClellan on that, on that floor. She fouled out a little while ago with those five personal fouls. Still leading all scores, though. Liv McClellan with eight. Ali Steve, the senior number three, with seven. Six each for Sam Smith, the sophomore number 22, and, Ke and Hannah Shepard, each with six. Kate Groninger with three. Mira Fontana, two. Maddie Groninger still with two. Those free throws from the first quarter when she picked up those two early fouls. We haven't seen much of Maddie Groninger since. And Peyton Bayer, the senior, also has two. But in this quarter, it's only been Mira Fontana, Liv McClellan, and Kate Groninger doing the scoring. Panthers came out in this fourth quarter and got ahead in the scoring of the uh, of Kanemak Lady Max. But Kanemak has come back with eight points this quarter to five for the Panthers to stretch that lead. Out to 10. And it'll be the Lady Max with the ball with exactly 130 left. <laughs> 46, 36, possession arrow. Goes the Panthers way if that ever meant anything. Peyton Bayer with some ferocious defense. Double teaming the ball out front. Cheyenne Trest, good ball handler. 
One minute to go. Now, Kanda Mack daring the Panthers to foul, and Ali Steve does. Cheyenne Tress, not the best person on earth to foul. She's 4 of 4 from the line already, and two more coming. A one and one coming, rather, excuse me. It's a one and bonus. First one is up and good. She will get that bonus. Five for five from the line tonight for Cheyenne Trest, and that is 20 points for Cheyenne. Second one up, make it 21. Perfect from the line, six of six. Exactly a minute to go for the Panthers, trailing by 12, 48-36. Sam Smith up a little too hard. Becca Turney with a rebound. I think Sam Smith on that foul. We'll find out in just a second. Yep, it is indeed Sam Smith with a personal. Her third. It'll be a one and one for Becca Turney. Two of three from the line so far tonight. First one up off the rim, no good. Anna Shepard the rebound, 50 seconds left. Can the Panthers get one more to bring this a little closer? Peyton Bayer in the lane and she got hammered by Becca Turney, only Becca's second. And it's two shots for Peyton Bayer. First one rattles home, that's good. Three points on the night for Peyton Bayer. Subbing in for the first time tonight, Catherine Gollyhue, number five, subs in for Kate Groninger. First action we've seen from Catherine. She's a junior, 5'3 junior. Peyton Bayer, second one good. Four points on the night for Peyton, 48-38. Panthers with a full court pressure, trying to trap the ball in the forecourt. Cheyenne Trest not having any of it. And with 29 seconds left, she will go to the line for, I think it's a 10th team foul now. Peyton Bayer again for her fourth. And that is 10, it'll be a two shot double bonus foul. First one up, rattles off the rim, no good. Her first miss of the night. And Cheyenne will get the second on the double bonus. That one is good. 22 points for Cheyenne Tress. 26 seconds left. Peyton Bayer with it. Allie Steve will take the three. Off the side of the rim, no good. Sam Smith comes away with it. Foul called on Lindsay Beach, number five. And it'll be a one and one free throw situation for the Panthers. Kind of a dumb foul. Because the uh, Canamac does not want the Panthers to be scoring while the clock is stopped. But it's one and one for Sam Smith. First one rattles out, no good. She will not get the second. It's out of bounds to the Lady Max with 16 seconds to go in the contest. And that probably wraps it up with 14 seconds. Yeah, Scandamac will let the clock run out. Four, three, two, one, and that will do it. Well, it was a pretty interesting contest. Cannon Mack has two excellent players who did the overwhelming amount of the scoring there. 14 for Becca Turney, the center, 22 for the guard Cheyenne Trest for the Panthers on the night. It was Liv McClellan, number 13, in with eight and having fouled out a little earlier. Ali Steve, the senior guard, with seven. Six each, Samantha Smith, the sophomore guard, number 22. Hannah Shepard, the senior, she had six. Four for Peyton Bayer with those two free throws near the end. And two each for Mira Fontana uh, and Maddie Groninger. Three of four from the night on the night with, for Kate Groninger. 
And that pretty well sums up the uh, Cannon Mac Lady Max come in here and take away a 49-38 Section 4 contest. We're glad you were with us, everybody. There's a lot more basketball to come, so as the season goes along. Kevin McGay, he's my name. Kyle Romano behind the camera, and we're glad you were watching us tonight. Thanks, everybody, and watch us next time on the Upper St. Clair Sports Network. Thanks, everybody. Good night. <laughs>